Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is a Nigerian Afrobeat recording artist and performer based in Lagos State. He is a graduate of microbiology from the University of Abuja. He incorporates elements of African um, music, soul, Afrobeat, hip hop, R&B, and reggae. He's currently working on creating and delivering more of this aptitude to inspire and impress every musically inclined individual that appreciates good music. Let's make welcome Rio. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. We're mm. happy to have you too. To Microbiology, music, tell your story. There's M <laughs> and there's M. Yeah. That's the story. You know, you, know, you know it's not always easy when you always have parents wanting you to read a professional course and do the 9 to 5, you mm -hmm. get me? But that was not the, the road I wanted to take. Mm -hmm. I had a dream for my own self, but I had to fulfill the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. when, I say, when I say quest mm -hmm. for education by going to school first, mm -hmm. and after that, I veered into music. What has that journey thought to you? Because regardless, you, you went through the four walls of the university, mm -hmm. so what, what did you pick from that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good process because education is always key because it helps you in anything you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. Even my music, it helps me write. It mm -hmm. helps me in, in get to know better words and all. So it's, it's a good process. I enjoyed mm -hmm. it. I enjoyed um, my education, but music is my thing. Mm -hmm. Why is music your thing? Why did you decide to do music? Uh, let's say it's more, it's more of a passion. When you're passionate about something, mm -hmm. you always, it's better you do something you really love doing than mm -hmm. just doing what everybody else wants you to do. So did you yeah. end up going to a music school or no, something? No, not really. It's, it's just natural? Yes, yeah, natural talent. You produce bits? Yeah, I, I co-produce. Okay. I'm actually learning how to produce now. Okay. I, write, I write songs and I make songs. Mm. Yeah, so. how, how long have you been on the music scene? I've been on the music for a while because um, I finished I finished my university education 2010. Okay. Then I went for my service. Then after after that I've been doing music. But Pro professionally? Since, yeah. But um, professionally? Professionally, I've been in music for two years. Mm. Okay. Yes, how has the two years been? Yeah, it's been okay at least. I, I actually got serious 2018, actually. Okay. But I've been professional, I've been doing behind the scenes like since 2017. 2018, I was the year I dropped a lot. I started by dropping a single. Then 2019, I dropped like five singles this year already. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah. this is the full now, feature. Now, your music style seems to incorporate a whole lot of genre. Yeah. Is it that Rio doesn't want to be known for a particular sound yes. or is it an incorporation of different sounds? So, I believe. One, one of my watchwords as an artist is being versatile. Yeah. So I believe in giving my audience different parts of me. Mm -hmm. You get, if I sound like this today, you should hear how I sound like this tomorrow. So I don't just want to have a particular style to go with. I just want to vibe, go with the beat and I vibe with it. Nice. As, okay. as an independent artist, how hard would you say it is for you? Uh, it's not easy. But my breakthrough is that I have supportive parents. Okay. Although they didn't really support me at first, you understand? They had to take years of convincing and they had to go back and say, I mean, this music is not, it's not, not how, yes, how, <laughs> yes. So they, 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 I thank them for their support, you understand? So that's why, that's what got me far and that's what got me here today. Okay, so right now is music paying the bills? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> as much as you want it to. Yeah. Uh, it's okay because, um, like, Something must pay the bills. Mm -hmm. You get me, and for this, my case is music. You get me. That this is the road I want to take. So it has to pay my bills, one way or the other. I have a studio. I have my personal studio. People come to use it as well. So I get money from that. I get money from writing songs. There are a lot, whole lot of ways to make money, money. from music. Okay. Yeah. So it's paying the bills definitely. Okay. Now, when people get to listen to real sound, what what do you want them to feel? What 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 do you want them to take from your music? Uh, my mu I just, the kind of music I make, I will classify it as just generally good music. Good music. I need music, I make music to calm nerves, I make music that people can easily relate to and vibe with, you get me? I, as long as, I don't just want to make music, I want to make music that has meaning, mm. and music that's going to... Music with meaning? Yes, that's going to touch lives of people in general. People you look up to? Are there people you look up to in the industry, in Nigeria in particular? Uh, yes, you know, you must, you, must, you must look up to the greats to, yeah. to be one of them. So I look up to people like the Two Faces. Yeah. Um, I look up to Fela is dead now, but it's the corona of the whole of Afrobeats. Yeah. Yes, Fela, Whiskey, Davido, they are good. Um, 
Also, there's, there's a lot of young cats coming up that are also good too. But, and over the international scene, I like Drake. Okay. I like, I like Lee Wayne. I like Demi Amali. Demi Amali. Yes, yes. Um, and a whole lot of them. So. Okay, so have you, um, do you have any music with any Nigerian artist? Uh, yes, I, I have a feature with YC. Mm -hmm. I have with Tiwa, but I've not dropped them yet. They're going to come sometime next year. Oh. Um, but um, this year I dropped Summer Buddy. I featured Chiki Cheesy and Wale Kwame. So okay. that's the feature I have right now, Summer Buddy. So you guys check that out. Any new project? Uh, yes, yes. Um, my birthday just passed. That's 25th of October 2019. I dropped two singles actually on my birthday. Okay. One was Calamity and the other one is Dadia. So those are my new projects, you guys. They are available on all platforms. You can mm. check that out, Rio Sounds, Calamity and Dadia. Is there a reason for dropping so many singles at the same time? Uh, yes, because I, my fans need to get to hear me. Mm. And need to get to, I don't want to just come out, just come out today and drop one song, no. I need to put a, lim a body of work for my fans to keep listening and this is, this, the dropping of my songs is going to lead to my EP because okay. I okay. plan on dropping my EP sometime around April next year. Okay. So I'm working on that as well. Okay. Um, yeah. It's like you have all everything planned out already. Yes, yes. This is what you want to do yeah. next year, this month, and that month. Yeah. How um, how do you understand the business part of music? Uh, the business part of music is not easy because you know um, it's first things first. It's very capital intensive. Mm. Secondly, it's a business that you put in money without, and you're not sure of your returns. You understand? But nowadays we have um, um, online platforms like Instagram, Spotify, um, iTunes, YouTube. YouTube. Yes, you understand that get to to pay artists and give artists pay pay money to artists. You have you can easily push your 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 um, business online. Social media actually made it easy to get your, as an independent artist, to get your music across out there. Mm -hmm. And also it, it helps to boost the music business as well. You understand, getting people to know you. People, I get DMs from people every day. Hey, I would like to, love to feature you on a song. Mm -hmm. you charge them a fee, they pay you. And that's it. Are you selective about the people you feature or who feature you? Is uh, it just yes, about I the have money? to. I have to. But then again, I don't try to push people away when it comes to music. I because believe, anything can blow, right? Yes. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> part of party everyone. Day after then again, party. I believe if this is your, if if you have, if you want to do music, and you want to work with me, we can work on it together so that mm -hmm. we sound right. And I'm not just gonna jump on it because you gave me no. Or just ask we're to gonna send sit. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna sit in the studio and we'll make sure it sounds right so that people can at least enjoy it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in your coming EP, you're gonna have collaborations. You want to tell her like five top names of Nigerian artists you definitely want to work with. Because I know YC and Tio Savage. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I would love to work with Whiskey. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, very soon, I hope I'm working with Dibanj, and um, I would love to work with Davido as well. Why Dibanj? I like the bunch. Like what do you music. like about the bunch? I like. I just like his music right from time. I mean, these guys came out when music was nothing in Nigeria. Mm. The more hits, they gave us good hits back then. So I just that that was one of the earliest people I started listening to. I think the band remains one of the greatest. I mean, yes. Yeah. Oh one yeah. Of the <laughs> still one of the greatest. I wasn't saying he's engine. not the greatest. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just talking about it because I'm sorry. I'm a big fan <laughs> of the band. Yeah, I like he's still he's still yeah. one of the greatest. Okay, but are you said to face is one of the artists you look up to. Yeah. You don't want to work with him. Uh, if the opportunity pre um, presents, presents itself, because um, I'm, I'm going to work with many people in the industry. Mm. I even, I, with time, I even plan on working with Drake. Oh yeah. When, when internationally, time, yes, internationally. So. And I'll DM you to say, do you remember when you said it on the show? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to happen. So watch out for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to sing us out, or just entertain us for 30 seconds before? We oh, it's fine. Um, Baby girl, I got to look a loving way I won't give to you. Anyway, you whining, baby girl, you are so beautiful. Calamity, I calamity. Kill him with the wine, baby, calamity. I. When it's your boy with your sounds, you guys should cop calamity, cop DJ. And check, out, check me out on all platforms. I, I dropped five songs this year. The first one was Cover Me, the second one was Champion. The third one was Summer Body featuring Chiki Chizi and Wale Kwame. The fourth was Calamity and the fifth was Dadia. 
Well done. Yeah. All right. So that's on every our music up. digital platform. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's our wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our previous episodes on our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Alta TV and in London on Penn Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Benny Yak and Ewa Olu Oritu, and the entire production team. And of course, my studio guest, Rio. Thank mm. you for being here. I'm so happy to be here. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and have yourselves a great day.